Now, I'd like to say I'm good at makeup, but... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and hey, if you're new here, apparently that's my intro now. I mean, I've been saying it for the past couple of videos I've been doing. I can't think of a better intro. If you do have a better intro than that, please comment it down below. Today, I'm going to be showing you some Halloween looks. I found it really hard to actually come up with the ideas to do, because I feel like there's not like a good thing this year for like Halloween. Today, I'm going to be doing a deer look. I'm going to do a kind of skeleton look. I'm going to show you how I do these looks. I'm going to hope this doesn't take me forever and let's get into the video. I'm going to start off by pulling my hair back so it's not in my face and I'm also going to remove uh, the makeup that I'm currently wearing. I'm going to use some foundation just to give myself a nice base. Um, I will be using the CYO Long Lasting Foundation Life Proof. And I'm going to be blending it in with this um, beauty blender that I've got. I really like them, they're my favourite. I'm also going to use this concealer stick, which I have no clue where it is from because it does not have a label on it. I'm just going to use to block out my bottom lip and just to highlight some areas. So I've just basically smothered this all over my face. Um, but now I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it in so it looks slightly more natural. Okay, now I look a bit weird. Now we're going to go on and I'm going to use some bronzer to get the whole deer vibe from this. Taking my MAC stick, I'm going to mark out where the contouring is going to be. This is very similar to how you would normally contour your face. And again with my beauty blender, I'm going to take that and blend it. Once you've blended in your transition colour, now it's time to go in with a slightly darker colour to just bring out the darkest parts of the contour. Don't forget when you're doing the bits around the hairline to kind of bring it up towards the hairline as well, otherwise you're going to have really light patches and then a super like dark line. Um, and also a bit that I always forget, do the ears as well because otherwise you're going to have super pale ears whereas this bit's meant to be kind of darker. So I will just take the leftover contour on my, I'll take the leftover product on my blue, blue Ah, what is it? Leftover product. Take the rest of your product on your beauty blender and I'll just like cover up my ears like that. Okay, so now that we've mainly done the face contour, I'm also going to do a little bit on the neck as well to kind of like bring it down to give like a deer like neck I guess. So I'm going to put a bit of highlight down the middle. I'm going to kind of put this on quite heavy because again this is a um, special effects look. And now with my beauty blender, I'm going to blend that in. Now with my MAC cream stick I am going to do the lines next to that. And again we're kind of just following the same thing that we did on the face. Again I'm going to take it and blend it in to this so I'm going all the way up. I'm kind of creating like a triangle look to kind of like slim it down the neck. I'm hoping this is going to work. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to go with the natural way that my collarbone is built and highlight and contour that as well. Now that's the neck and the main face done. Now I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown uh, Intensive Skin Syrup Concealer and contour the middle of my face, i.e. my nose. For the eyes, I'm going to use a mixture of eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the um, bronze palette from the Kylie collection. So for this bit, you can literally use any um, brown eyeshadow. I'm taking my brown and putting it more mostly into the creases of my eyes. And I'm also going to like um, highlight the inner corners of my eyes as well. I'm going to use this CYO highlighting palette to highlight underneath my eyebrows and in the inner corners of my eyes and underneath my eyeball. And then I'm going to add a liner as well. Well, haven't I changed? To line my eyes, I just use this Maybelline New York eyeliner, which is like a little gel pot, which I don't usually use, but it kind of really worked out in my favour for today. Fuck goodness. Coming in with the black Snazzle Reface Paint, and I'm going to start on the lips because that's easier and then I'm going to move on to the nose. Of course if you have black lipstick that could also work but I don't so I'm using face paint. Well aren't we coming together? As you can see at the end I've kind of like done a little bit of a flick. 
<laughs> but it kind of just looks like I've got no upper lip and a moustache. Now taking a little bit more of your Snazaru black face paint, I'm just going to do the deer nose. I mean, the hardest part about this look is working with the colour black because you have to kind of start over once you kind of mess up with it. Just like eyeliner. Anyway, moving on to the last step, I'm going to be taking my white Snazaru face paint and it's time to paint all the little dots onto my face. Now I'm going to put a few just on the bridge of my nose. Like this. I'm really trying to keep this as random as I possibly can and vary the sizes that I've got on my face. The main thing is putting the dots in the places where you've got the contour. That's kind of like the main look for this. So like I'm not going to put it down the middle but I'll put it in all these places here. And with one finishing touch of the hair, you're done. This next look is slightly harder because we're going to be doing half of my face as skeleton. Also going to try to glitz up. I'm going to start off putting on my white vest and locking my eyebrows as well. So this is something that I've actually wanted to do for a long time after watching like all the special effects makeup artists. Um, is blocking my eyebrows. I'm gonna take my new glue stick. Look how nice and clean that is. And I hope I'm doing it right. Let's hope this goes well. I can't move my eyebrow. Look. I hope it isn't too hard to get out of my eyebrow. Okay, so I went ahead and I made this side of my face white. I'm just gonna continue to kind of shade this in on camera so you can see how, what I do. I'm kind of liking it. Now I need to do the teeth and then I'm going to shade in with a black eyeshadow. It's flaking off. I'm just going to paint that white. You know mistakes are made but you know it's a learning experience. Next all I need to do is shade the teeth. I, th I quite like the shading that I've done but I'm actually quite impressed with how well I've done. Okay, so, um, I mean, I couldn't really do it myself, so I had to call in some help. Thanks for the help, mum. <laughs> I had to, like, completely start over on the teeth, but everything else is basically the same. Now all there's left to do is add some glitter. I've got this Glitter Fix Gel. I'm literally just going to put straight onto the face. Opening it up. I've only ever had this done professionally once, and I loved it. I mean, that's gorgeous, come on. Now that we've added this glitter, I can I wanna put on something up here as well. Um, I've got all these stickers that I can put on my head, and I kinda like the pink. I'm gonna go with this one. So it should look like that. And this is the hard part, I'm trying to align it. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Oh, I love that. I 
was aiming for something high, like up here. When I started, I was like, oh, it's not gonna be that high. And then I was like, wait, we can redeem this, and it got better. So I'm happy with the way this turned out, actually. Oh, let me take my hand out. Final step. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like and comment down below what video you want me to do next and also whatever intro you want me to do because I kind of want to make a different intro but I have no clue. So I'm going to keep going with this until I find a new one. Um, also, make sure you please subscribe if you liked my content and if you want to see more. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified for every new video that I do because I'm going to be posting quite consistently from now on. I'm hoping. Woo! So yeah. <laughs>